Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rebel, and Mr. Bones. And, as always, we gotta give you quick parental advisory. I tend to cuss like a sailor, and I could also talk like a pervert, so if you ain't into that, you have better exit stage left. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings, though, because I know I'm everybody's cup of tea. Anyways, we are here in my kitchen. I just thought we'd give something totally different, <laughs> and we just come in here for a bit. Plus, he had to drink. He still thinks he's on the damn island, so he had to have his drink. So we're just sitting around the table, and we're just chit-chatting, or at least we're trying to chit-chat. And I decided, let's go ahead and pick out my favorite colorful palettes. Now, if you know a previous video, um, I did my favorite basic bitch palettes that I've been using this year so far. I didn't have 10 of them. I only had so many, because I'm not a person who likes basic bitch colors so <laughs> but it was easy for me to pick 10 of my favorite colorful palettes now when I say colorful I picked palettes that had color all throughout now I have a lot of monochromatic palettes I just have you know one color scheme kind of going through which I kind of do have one here but I tried to stick with palettes I had different colors throughout the palette so these are the ones I've been using the most this year when it comes to that. So yeah, let's just break down and get into it. Which I'll go ahead and show you my first three off the bat. I love these little Profusion palettes. They're the, um, I don't know what they called this collection exactly. I call it the Flower Collection, but we have the Romantic Rose, which is, is kind of a monochromatic palette. Um, but I still really like it. It gives me a nice pink and red, kind of an orangey color. And then the next one is the Delightful Dahlia, which that one's pretty colorful. I mean, it does give you blue and a purple, and, and all these do have a pressed glitter, so if you're not that, you won't like them, but I still really like it. And the next one is probably, not surprisingly, my favorite, and that's the Honest Hibiscus. So it has an orange, a yellow, and a pink, and then this really bright orange pressed glitter. But it, these were super cheap at Walmart. They were like, what was it, like four or something? So really cheap. So I have reached for these a lot when I wanted a little color. Now these ain't my super pigmented colors. Now I got palettes coming up that's a lot more pigmented than these. But these are really good for somebody who doesn't want the pigmentation because you know me I'm a pigmentation whore so I love my pigmentation but if you're somebody that doesn't want that these are really good for you um you can build them up they build up great I like the way they blend out as well like I said they're super affordable Walmart has them you get them at Walmart so yeah for everyday person who's not like me I think you would like these Okay, so the next one is another affordable one. I got this from Ulta. This is the J-Cap Beauty. Dia and Noche. Noches. Noche. I don't know how to say that shit. I don't speak Spanish, though. I don't know how to say. But this is the, um, Dia, the Dia or Dia. However they say it, palette. Um, it's super... It's muted. It is a muted, colorful palette. Uh, but the freaking shivers, well, it's metallic. It's not shiver. They are metallic. Uh, the bottom row is shiver, I will say that. But that middle row is metallic. And, oh, my God, that is the damn good metallic formula for such a cheap brand. These are like 7 bucks. And if you wait around, Ulta always has these things on clearance um, or sale or, like, buy one, get one, half off or Buy two, get one free. I mean, they always have J-Cat Beauty on sale. So just keep an eye out for sale shit. You can find them on sale, but just for the metallics alone in this palette, it is worth it just for those metallics. The mattes blend down really well. They're not quite pigmented, but for just a creased color, they're perfect. Because stars of the shows are going to be these, this metallic row. And really these shimmers, they don't do bad either, but... Those metallics. And about, um, I have four total. Um, this is the better one for that metallic row. 
but the other ones aren't bad either but this one is so far the best one i have i think that there's one more i think there's five total to the collection but they didn't have it that day i bought these um so i really would like it by hands on that other one it's another muted color like this so yeah i really like that as well and i have been using that quite a bit because that's why it's on this damn table because i've been used it so another one same thing i used it last year a lot especially when i had my blue my teal and my blue and my green hair i really use this one a lot but this is the main stage desert dream yeah it backstage because they're they they put different anyways this one's backstage this is the blue one blue purple green kind of color once again another really good palette that has some really good metallic formulas in it but i do like the mattes better in this palette than i do like the j cat or the profusion this one the la girl did i call it la colors i probably did call it la colors because i'm a dumbass like that ain't i mr bones i know you would agree with me on that one but la girl there we go <laughs> it has a better formula than those other two by far but the only place you can really find this is at either on la girl's website or ulta um and they are like 16 bucks or 18 i think on la girl's website but i think 16 hell hell 17 at ulta but ulta is really good about like i said running those sales doing buy one get one half off 40 percent off stuff like that so well, I said this was a really good one too and I have several of these palettes from Ellie girl and I really like them but this one is the only colorful one that I have I don't know if they put out any colorful colorful I they've been more on the like basic bitch browns bronze you know kind of sides like that peak but that was a really good one another colorful palette though this time we're going indie this is the Peachy Queen, the Ganja Queen palette. It is very colorful. Now we are really going colorful here. Um, it has a couple of metallic formulas that's really good that I really like. But I like the mattes of these. They got really good mattes. Um, just a really good colorful palette. Um, this one might be for like a rainbow spectrum kind of thing because this is kind of rainbow spectrum in a way but it has better mattes for that in my collection than most of my other ones do but yeah i really do like this palette like i said this is peachy queen and i don't know how i ran across them i don't know if it was instagram or something but peachy queen once again you sign up for their emails they have sales quite a bit just catch up all their sales but they're, I was going to say they're pretty bad. Not really bad, but a lot of their palettes are limited edition in a way. They'll have them for a little bit, then they're gone. Then they'll have a new one, you know. They do that thing, so they don't keep, you know, the same stock around all the time. So, I'm not for sure if this one is still in their stock or on their website. So, that's just something to keep in mind. But they do have other different color schemes and stuff if you're not into this kind of a color now okay i'm saving the best for last that's what i'm trying to do but my next one is my powder puffs color pop i don't know what the hell a powder puff is i but i just got this because it was like four bucks it was on a super clear it's a color pop ad which that's how you shop chop color i can't even talk did that blah blah blah, blah. okay so that's how you shop ColourPop, as <laughs> you wait till it goes on sale. ColourPop always goes on sale, and when they don't sell the shit, then they'll have a mega clearance where they're trying to clearance the shit off. Um, so that's what I did. Like I said, I'm not into powder pops. I don't even know what they are. So it was this isn't like a collector's thing for me, but it was just super cheap. But what this is, this is like a pastel rainbow. Um, and it's actually really good to be pastel. I am not a pastel lover. I don't like it in eyeshadows because it just doesn't give me the contrast I want. I want eyeshadow that's very contrasted. Pastels just doesn't do that. But 
I could take this palette and use it with other palettes. And that's what I normally do. This one is, like I said, it's really good for being that pastel. Now, unfortunately, this ain't a true, like, colorful palette because we do have some neutrals up at the top. But I wanted to throw this in because, like I said, I have used it quite a bit. But it's got a really good color, pastel colors. So if you're looking for something with the pastel colors, and it does have a couple of pressed glitters. So, fortunately, if you're not into that, you're not going to like this. But I think that they still have this palette on ColourPop. And it might be on sale. So, like I said, ColourPop is just one of those. You just wait for the sale and it's going to happen. So, now my next ones are my favorites. They have been my favorite find this year so far. They'll probably be my favorite period from this year. It's from Sugar Drizzle. Sugar Drizzle has just, they have wowed me. So the first palette is the Frosty Flamingo. So this is more of a pink purple. Now it is kind of monochromatic in a way, but I still had to include it because they have some amazing multi-chromes, duochromes in their palettes and metallic. It's just, it's a beautiful formula. I love the mattes. I just, I love everything about these palettes. Um, I don't know. I'll try to show off the multi-chrome. It's really hard to show those on camera. I don't know. Some people know how to do it. I haven't figured out how to get my camera to do it, but this one, like I said, is really pretty. Now, these are quite pricey, I will say. Um, I think one of my palettes was 42 and the other ones were like close to 30. I'm like, this one was like 28. I think the other one was 28 as well, but they are pricey. But every once in a while, Sugar Drizzle, I'm like all linked over like, <laughs> anyway, Sugar Drizzle will um, sometimes do sales. So you, once again, it's one of those things you can sign up for. I think they have an email. Maybe they don't. Instagram though is where I keep up with them quite a bit. It's on Instagram. They have a lot of different palettes besides just these. But the only thing is it's hard to catch them when they're stocked. They sell out so quick. They can't keep stuff in stock because that's how good they are. So whenever you see those restock dates, set it on your clock if you really want to try this brand and jump on their website as soon as that, that time starts. And try to get your hands. And it will be a pre-order thing. It's not going to be they send it out the next day. It's going to be probably four weeks or longer. Four to six weeks before you get the palette. But I'm telling you, these are well worth it. So the next one is the sequel. So this is once again. It has a lot of the multi-chrome, dual chrome. And this is a full-blown shimmer palette. There is no metallic, or there is no mattes in this. It's got shimmers and metallic finishes. So, so pretty. My dog just farted. I don't know if you heard that. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, okay. <laughs> that was so loud. So, back to this. Okay. So, yeah, this is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is the $42 one because there is a lot of um, duo and multi-chromes in this palette. Pretty much... All of them, I think, are a, either a duo, if I remember right. I think so. But, yeah. And there's two of these that are like this that are just full of multi and duo chromes. But I picked this one. I like the color scheme of that this one better. And then last but not least, this is the one that got me hooked. And I think this is still my favorite palette. I call it the butterfly palette. I don't know what they call it, but it has this Mardi Gras kind of theme to it. But oh my gosh, these this is what got me set and hooked on their brand. Um, we have in the middle a row of just mattes and then two rows of metallic and shimmer. But oh my gosh. And when I've worn this palette, I've got so many comments, uh, compliments, because it's just so pretty. And for prom, when we had our prom for our niece, I wore this palette. I wore several different colors out of it. And it just oh, looks so pretty. 
So yeah, these are my top 10 colorful palettes. Um, like I said, this is what I've been using just this year. Um, I have way more colorful, but I wanted to pick the ones that I have been reaching for the most that is true colorful, not just a, a solid red palette because I have several of those. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And, and by the way, comment down below what is your favorite colorful palette. I like to know, by the way. <laughs> I'm nosy like that. I'm a nosy bitch. I want to know <laughs> what your colorful palette is. But yeah, I think that's it, Mr. Bodes. I think we're out of here. Because I can't think of nothing else to say, can you? Yeah, well, I didn't think you would. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys really soon. Love y'all. Bye. Since YouTube clearly hates music or doesn't like my taste, you've just got to listen to my voice from now on. So if you feel like it, go follow all of my social media accounts, my Facebooks. Also, I do have three Instagrams, yes, three Instagrams, including my newest Instagram, which is T Jackson Photography for my photography pictures, of course. And I also have a TikTok. I don't post to it a lot, but I do have some really cool makeup videos over there on it. And if you feel like it, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun jazz you're supposed to do here on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys really soon.